In order for you to grow a successful business online fast, one of the things that you need to do is to stand out from everybody else. Just think about it. All of the people in your company, thousands and thousands and thousands of reps in your company, we are selling the exact same products. We are presenting the exact same opportunity. So what makes you stand out? Now, there are a few different things. If you haven't checked out my video about from newbie to building an authority figure in a two simple step, you should definitely click the description below and watch that video on how you could become the authority figure in, in your community, in your niche, so that people could come to you. Now, why do you think it's important to become the authority figure? So let me ask you this question. How did you get started in this business? How did you get into the company that you are in? Did you just go and search and wake up one morning thinking, you know what, I'm going to get into the business and I'm going to go with this one. Or you join someone that you know, like, and trust. Or perhaps you join someone that you see them as a leader, right? You don't just wake up in one day and decide that I am going to start a business. I'm going to join company X. That might never actually cross your mind if it was not for that person who sponsored you, brought that up to you, and you trust them enough because you see that person as an authority figure, right? So today I'm going to talk to you about how you can become an authority figure and how to stand out in your niche, separate yourself from thousands and thousands of reps in your company. And in fact, using this particular method could actually help you stand out and become the expert in your in your industry so you probably ask so what do i need to do to become that expert that leader that person people see as an authority figure one of the fastest way to do it is actually become an author you probably right now you said an author oh my god Ooh, how do i start to become an author i I don't know. I don't know. Do I need to hire a publisher? Do I need to hire somebody? How much money does it cost me to write a book? Calm down. I was, I was like you. Then I discovered, I discovered it really doesn't cost you anything. It didn't cost me to write my first ebook. It didn't cost me to write my second ebook and I did it all by myself. I'm going to show you how you could become an instant author in today's video. In fact, once you, be, you, you wrote your first ebook and you publish it and people start reading it, you have become that instant authority in their eyes because you have published something. Hey, my name is Candace Wee Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they could have the confidence to start taking the right action and start building a profitable business through online marketing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your first ebook with a free software from the beginning to finish. So let's head over to my laptop and I'm going to show you how to do this. Here we are on Canvas. I'm going to show you how to create your very first ebook if this, you haven't done any um, yet. And don't freak out, it is not that hard. The hardest part is to actually come up with the content. Once you have the content, it's all, all about plugging in, okay? So I'm going to show you how I create my ebook. In fact, I have one that I'm actually personally walk, working on right now. I could actually quickly show you. This is the ebook that I'm currently working on right now. And I'm not done yet. It should be done in a couple of days, okay? So this is what my ebook is going to be looking like. Once I da download it as a PDF, it will show up um, very nicely. So that's my ebook. But let's stop talking about me. Let's talk about how you could create your first ebook. Now, the template that I use to create my ebook is a, uh, it's a document. So whenever you want to start for anything, whatever you're looking for, you could either type it in here or you could go browse here. Now. There is no such templates called an ebook templates in Canva, but I'm gonna show you which templates I'm actually using. I actually go down to document and I use the letterhead templates. Another good template for ebook is the uh, A4 document right here. Right here, it's a, another good template to use. So I actually use the letterhead. So when you click on this, 
When you click on that ahead and this will pull up. Now again, you could create your own templates, you know, um, let me just quickly show you how you could actually create your own. Let's say if you want to have some border, let's say if you want to have some graphic, whatever, right? Uh, like lines right here that you want to put it in there, all right? So let's say if we're going to put some line on the top or in the bottom, you could actually do so right here. Now, you see the line right here? You, don't, you can't really see it because the colors are grayish. Now, let's say if this is my, my, my design, because it's grayish, you could actually change the color so it can pop. Like, this is my brand color. You could change to whatever color you want. Let's say if it's purple, right? So this could be your ebook. Um, and maybe you could do a bottom one as well, right? Um, however you want to design it. Now, this is very much work as a work document, a work document, whatever that is, okay? So, and all you need to do just, you know, start, you know, let's say if this is your design, you want to be something simple and, you know, get to the point, this is your design. And now all you need to do, um, if you want to create an image for the cover of your book, whatever that is, um, first of all, take a, choose a picture. Again, you could use the free pictures um, that Canvas provide to, uh, or you could actually go and, and, and look online to find some of the pictures out there. These are the free pictures that you want, if you want to use, they're free. Some of them that cost money. Let's say if you want to use this one, all you need to do is click on it and it will show up. Um, it will show up on here, right? They're right here. So if this is the, the one that you want to use, click on it. If you want this to be, you know, to be like a full page, you could stress it. Or, you know, you say, you know what, I want this to be the center, but I don't want light the white. You could, create, you could actually change the background color. Let's say this is the, the one, and then you have a title. Now, if this is the, let's say this is your um, cover, right? Let's say this is your cover. And in fact, let's backtrack a little bit before you do all of this. So let's undo everything. Let's undo the picture first, okay? So let's say this is the template that you pick to use. You, you want to do this yourself, right? If you want to do something on the side, you could also do so. But you could design, design whatever you want. Let's say this is the one that I want to work with and I want every single page like this. So before I do anything, I'm going to make copy of the page so that, you know, whenever I edit one page, I have, an, I have the original here. So let's say now we're going to do the cover of the book, right? We say we're going to pick this picture, so I'm going to pick this picture. And let's say if this picture is too big, you know, you want to make it smaller. You want to be right here or the center. And if you say, you know what, I want my book not to be white. I want different color. Let's say if you want a black, let, you know, you could go with black. And then a good thing to do with the cover of the book. What do you see on the cover of the book? The title of the book, the author's name, right? So now you want to start putting that. You want to go to text. Okay, and you want to just add text. Um, one, you could go and put in whatever font you want right here. You could pick any font you want right here, or you could just simply go add headline, and then you could start change the font here if you want. So let's say this because it's black, the original text is black. Let's change to Y so we can see it better. You could change to whatever color you want. You know, you could change to red, whatever. And now we could put a text in there. Let's say the title of the book is to get started since this is the, like the track, right? So if, let's say if the book is to, to get started, to be, teach people how to get started. All right. so. Let's say this is a get started. Um, how about we might rewrite a book on how hold on one second. Let's change the back. So how to get started. Um, how to get started on a home visit. Let's say if you, your book is teaching people how to start a home business, okay? Right? So, 
Okay, it's the title of the book. So if this is the title of the book and you're happy with it, that is fine. Or you want to get, the if you want, you say, I, I don't like the title being here. I like to be up here. All you need to do is just drag it over. Or you could say, you know what? I would like the title in the picture, whatever it is that you wanted to do, okay? If you want to have some text in the picture, you could also, uh, also do that. You could just drag the text over to the picture right here. Um, let's say, Let's say we're going to do it right here, right? Take your first step, okay? Let's say this is what you want to put in here, right? It's your subtitle. I'm going to change the font, right? I could change the text. I could change the color, whatever, you, whatever I want, all right? The size whatever it is that we want, okay? All right, so if you want this to stand out a little bit more, you see how the U kind of blur out? And you want this picture kind of blur it so that the text could come out, all you need to do is click on here and you can do the change plus. You see how the picture is kind of fading out a little bit? See that? And your words are standing out, okay? Now, if you, let's put your title right here. Let's say I don't want a standard one. I want this title, right? I want this one. I want this particular font. Let's see this particular font right here. Um, again, it's black, so we can't really see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the font to white or red, whatever that is, right? Um, let's say this, I, don't, I, I don't want this. Or you could put, put this as D. And we can move this down. Okay, we can move this down to the bottom. Let's say this one. You could just say bye. And then you could just put your name here, all right? Again, you could do anything you want. So now this is how the, the page look, your, your front cover look like, right? And then now that you're going to start typing, you know, if, you know, what is the good way to start to, to think about a book? What is the next thing that you see at the cover of the book? Maybe a table content so that people know what you will be talking about, right? I have a table content on, on my, um, you could actually do a table content after you, um, you write this not a problem because sometimes the pages is a different right so you could actually do the table content after right now i'm just having a little template so let's say you have the table content here here's the thing you could always go to text and you put a box in there right so i'm gonna go drag this box down and i'm gonna just start you can make this box big and you could start typing right typing right you can start typing you could change the font you could adjust it how why you want it you see how if you want to line up here the size is too big then change the size right and then you could continue typing right and then you could do this just keep typing right and because it's a center, so, you know, we don't want to write a book in the center. We want to index on the, from the left. So you just keep typing. Now, let's talk about, hey, I want to put a picture. Not a problem. So here's what you type. If you want to put a picture in the bottom, all you need to do is go, if you have a picture of yourself, go and click upload the picture. And then you just put a picture. And now here comes the picture. All right? You could use your own picture or you could use picture from uh, elsewhere. So you say, okay, I want a picture right here, but I want to continue writing here. That's fine. You could click on the box, text, and your text would go, you draw your, you, you, you bring your text box over here a little bit, right? And then you could just start typing, change the size to match the other one. Um, and then you could start typing, right? That's it. And then, Let's say if you come down here, come down here now, match with your text. Now you want a text right here that cross here, not a problem. You do another text box, and now you want the text go from here to there, 
and now you can start typing. All right, you can start typing. Now, if you have not watched my um, my video on how to create your own infograph, we talk about hyperlink. Let's say you read you you're writing this ebook and you have a link. Let's say look, I'm writing an ebook how to start business. One of the things that I would talk about would be making videos. Let's say if I talk about getting a ring light. And I could actually go to Amazon, create an affiliate link, and I say, hey, you know, a recommendation that I would have for you is creating and uh, buying a ring light from Amazon. And uh, these are the brands that I would recommend. So I will put down, you know, brand number one, you know, ring light number one, and I could do a hyperlink, a uh, highlight, and then I go to a link, and then I just grab the the, the URL from Amazon put in here. So when they're reading it, they could just click on it and go straight to Amazon and buy the link and then I will earn commission. So that's how you do your, your ebook. Now, let's talk about the format of the ebook. So now that you're done, right? Remember, we wanna always copy so that we could be consistent of how we wanna do things, right? So this is how you, you create your own. Let's talk about, um, you let's talk about actually using a template right it's very easy let's say i would actually use a template i'm going to add a new page act as i just start from the scratch okay i'm not copying it just act as let's say i'm going to pick this template very easy it's already designed if you find this template great but you don't like everything about it let's say you say oh this thing is so stupid on the side all you need to do is click on it and you see how you could actually move, you can see those little two bubble, all you need to do is delete it, and that's it. And then now, if you, you like this, you could start typing, you erase this, anything in the bottom right here, you could erase it. This always, to, it, it would be always, it, it's always good to have a little color in your ebook because that will help to be having a little bit more fun instead of just black and white all the time. Um, that's one thing that I would suggest. Another thing that I would suggest is that, you know, put your contact information in there. Um, your website, if you have one, would be really, really good. Um, so that would be something that you want to put in the footer so that you could actually start typing. So let's say I'm going to go to the footer. I'm going to put a text and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put my... Um, my website right here so canvas.com okay so here's my website and i'm wanting to put it put it in the footer you could do the same thing and this is the beauty about using con uh, uh, canvas is that you could create it and then you, you just keep copy the templates the next page same thing here you could use your own you could create your own templates or you could use one of the templates that they are giving you and all you need to do is just keep copying and forward. I, in this ebook, I actually use one of the templates that was given. A um, couple things that um, you probably want to make sure you have in your ebook is that make sure people who know who you are, okay? You are the one, you are the author, so make sure you write a little bio of yourself. You know, for me, it was the, the cover of the book and then the table content. And here's a little bio of myself, you know, title it however you want. And then I start chapter one, two, three, and I have image. I will try to put image in all of my material because it's part of the branding. And also um, it, it, it helps with, um, help to keep people entertained in your information. Now, do you need to use all of your image? No, you don't. Look, I use something else here. So you could actually use different image, okay? So once you're done, once you are done with this, so let's say you're, you're done with your ebook, all you need to do is just click um, download. Make sure you're downloading as a PDF file instead of PNG or JPEG because it's, you're gonna download as a document for people to um, actually able to have it handy as a paper instead of a picture. Um, and also when you download, any file that's more any any file that's more than one picture at one time 
in PNG or JPEG, it will save it as a different file and it will save it in this zip file. When you save it in the PDF file, it will be one full document. So if I was gonna save this, right, I might have four pages. And when I'm done saving it, all of these four pages is in one document. It looks just like the book. So that is how you create your ebook. Again, putting in the templates is the easiest part. Having the content is the hardest part. If I would give you any suggestion on the ebook, uh, people always ask me, you see how this one is done? People always ask me, how many pages should an ebook have? If you have an ebook anywhere between uh, 15 to 20, maybe 30 pages, you have a very good ebook already. And it's not that difficult. And between putting the text, maybe some uh, illustrations, some pictures and all of that, it really doesn't, it doesn't have to be that difficult. And when you're done with it, you know, once you're done creating your ebook, I always tell people writing a book, it's easy. It's marketing the book, distributing the book is hard. So here's, this is how your book looks like, your cover. You know, if you don't like it, you change it however you want. And I kind of dig this one right now. So guys, this is it. This is how you create your ebook. If you have any question about creating ebook, be sure to drop in the comment. Try it out. Let me know how, how you like it. Um, um, if you find something else that you could do, be sure to let us know. So with that being said, guys, this is it. That is how you create your ebook with Canva. All right, guys. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Share this video to whatever platform that you're at so that you could help more people. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. If this is the first time that you're watching me, be sure to say hi to me so that I could welcome you to my community. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.